わかりました今すぐその代表を見よ落ち着けやはり我々も一緒に行く Alright my friends we're on episode number 15 of Sukumichi and the tournament came to a close but overall I don't know how to feel about this episode because Makoto's basically kind of being used manipulated and extorted and he's being kind of like taken advantage of because of his naivete but it frustrates me for a, a few facets it's like obviously makoto doesn't have strong love for the humans right and he's already thought about siding with the demons or maybe not the word siding but basically like in this qualms of the world he's not really taking sides he wants to do business or he wants to have interaction with humans and demons and and demi humans right he doesn't really want to kind of uh put himself in a box of any which way right because he, he's not majoritively accepted by the humans because he's an ugly dude and from the other side of it he's kind of accepted by the demi humans and he's accepted by the demons because you know they don't really have a qualms with this ugly human guy obviously he's human himself or he, he's not traditional he, he human he's human so there's like you know this this indifference there and i think ultimately you know leaving or traveling or going over and beginning and establishing good relationship good relations with the demons and stuff i think that is a good move by and large my main problem is is like he's allowing himself to a i do think he was naive as well but B, he's also allowing himself to kind of be manipulated by these humans. And I, you know, the the guilt dude was like, oh, violence isn't the answer. And it's like, well, I really think that violence is the answer. He has basically an army. And I think, you know, if I were in his shoes and I was trying to do this deed and I learned that being honest and providing this service isn't going to net not profits because that's not the that word but it's not going to net the goal that i'm trying to do i think you begin operating like the mafia or operating like yakuza you know like this guild dude he obviously probably has family all the merchants who have issues with him probably do too i mean you start holding people up you start threatening their their firstborn secondborn you start operating like the goddamn mafia in here, right? You put all your people to go work for these places. And basically, you strong arm all of them to shut the F up and uh, not and look the other way. Because if they don't, not only, you know, will they meet their merchantly and they'll meet their their and as well, too, and quietly. You know what I mean? I think that tomoe and and mio especially right because they you know they're very prevy to all of makoto's memories and movies and stuff i be like you you begin operating like a thug you know and i think that's how he gets out of here but you know he's very good-hearted and very good natured that's that's you know that's just the mer the mc uh the main character that they've built and he probably doesn't think like that but you know put me in that position you know you know put put boy in the box and i'm gonna fight my way out you know what i mean so i would begin operating like 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 the mafia you know a little bit like i would start throwing money around i would start you know making like like some crazy bets i would start trying to take over businesses and buy them out i would start making threats like people's families be disappearing like money be going around everywhere i'd be catching people up in their in their stuff that they have like i'd be having like a ninja type people go out there and get information i'd be blackmailing i would go full tilt and all of that obviously it's not the show and again he's good natured and stuff but um yeah i think it's just a sad thing for him to be manipulated in that way and so easily you know without him really finding a way out like his better course of action would have been to not reveal anything and i do, i don't really like at the end of the day right he was being pressed for you know uh not having transportation logs and not having like a footprint of how he was getting and delivering merchandise and stuff like that and in my head the whole time as he's by being grilled about that it's like why not reveal the teleportation magic it's not like this dude or dudes or whatever can just easily go replicate that right like the fact that they that he can do the teleportation magic it's like well what are you gonna do about it 
what if I'm using magic? What are you going to do about it? Like, I was waiting for him to kind of, like, because he was gripping his arm. I was waiting for him to be like, see this? This is teleportation magic. Can you do that? Do you want me to log for that? What do you want me to do? Like, I, I was ready for him to start going out, and he did it. He just kind of, like, caved over. And it's like, you're not going to be the most badass walking person on this planet and allow yourself to get punked by this middle-aged guild dude, you know what I mean? Or his friends. Like, what? So, I don't know. That just took me aback a little bit. I was like, man, I don't know if I like that. Uh, the rest of the episode focused around the tournament and all of his students. And I did enjoy that quite a bit. I like how Shifu, 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 I think her name is Shifu, one of the Rembrandt sisters. I like how one of the Rembrandt sisters won. Uh, I like how his class showed off. They pop, 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 They popped off. And they got the notice of the king and everybody else of like, oh, well, these are Kuzanohas. You know, these are Makoto students. Like, and even the king was like, oh, like, we found another diamond in the rough. We found another very talented man to be able to turn out. Because all of his students were very talented above the rest. And it was like, like, it was beyond, like, it was beyond evident. It was like, it was like they were just playing around. That's how, that's how much of a gap there was between his students and between everybody else in the school. So I like how he showed out. Now, obviously, he's going to catch the uh, the notice of the king and everybody else. So that'll probably impact him in some way, shape, or form. And then with him trying to leave, he now has to go get the, you know, the sisters, the bartender, the librarian girl. Uh, he has the Rembrandt sisters. Like, what is he going to do about all the students with dipping out? It's like, so we're going to end up seeing what ends up happening next. But I did enjoy the tournament stuff. Uh, next ap next episode is called A Certain Student's Secret. So I don't know exactly what that'll mean. Uh, I guess we'll just have to find out. But I did really enjoy the tournament stuff. It was just him being pressed and blackmailed and whatever deal was going on with the merchants. I didn't really enjoy that too much just because he got punked hard. And it's like, how are you, allow how are you letting that happen, bro? Uh, but anyways... <laughs> Everything else I thought was okay. I thought it was a pretty decent episode. Overall, if I had to slap a score, 7.5 out of 10. I think my, most of my enjoyability of the episode came from the tournament stuff. I like seeing the the end of that. I like seeing them win. I like seeing them win as a class. Uh, my disenjoyment came from him being just punked, pwned, and just ran over by all the other merchants. So, Anyways, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments down below, my friends. I'm going to see you for Tsukamichi episode number 16 next week. Uh, and yeah. I'll see you then, my friends. Peace.